So probably the silliest or most ridiculous comparison that I've ever done, we're gonna be comparing my iPhone 15 Pro Max to the Red Komodo X. And I think let's just jump right into it. Roll the footage, you'll see a little A, a little B, see if you can guess which is which, and I'll let you know at, at the end of the little montage. So could you tell, was it easy? Did the iPhone stack up? Or could you just obviously tell which was which? A was the iPhone 15 Pro Max and B was the Red Komodo X. So I think when you compare side by side an iPhone shot and a Red Komodo X shot, it's pretty easy to tell. Even just with the, the shallow depth of field, the iPhone still, while it is shooting, so much better quality than it has in the past and there's flexibility with shooting and log uh, they still haven't mastered that that shallow depth of field yet and so you can you can pick it out and then in post there's just so much more flexibility and information in the, the Komodo X uh, I'm really excited to share a whole bunch of other content on the Komodo X it's one of my my new favorite cameras uh, and was just really excited to shoot on that. So a ton more content coming on the Komodo X if that's something you're interested in as well. But yeah, with the compression, sometimes depending on the shot, it can be it can be tough to tell which is which, but for the most part, I mean, it's a silly comparison. The Komodo X is, is just so much better than, than the iPhone 15 Pro Max, but that still doesn't take away from the fact that the quality of this iPhone is is awesome. It's really good. It's way better than I thought it'd be. And that's what gets me excited about what I can use this tool for. Because at the end of the day, that's all gear is. It's just a tool, whether it's a lens or a camera or a mic or a monitor, like whatever it is, it's a tool to be able to tell a better story. What am I most excited about when it comes to, to this new iPhone and its video capabilities? Well, I don't wanna get into all the all the specs and do a deep dive on everything. I think there's, there's better videos for that and I'll link those down below. But what I think I'm most excited about is just the fact that it's convenient and easy to use an iPhone. And so there's a ton of situations in, in a shoot or just with uh, especially UGC, user generated content that I'll sometimes get hired by, by brands to do. This is a, a no brainer just to pick up my phone and be able to, to shoot on that and then have much more flexibility in, in post and have it look very similar to to a professional camera. Like I think it does a really, really good job. So I think just having that flexibility and having that quality just being raised to the next level just makes it exciting and and fun to, to see what people create and, and what I'll be able to create with this. But again, just using it as also a, a tool for convenience. When there's times where I just need to get a, a quick shot of something and can can use my iPhone where I don't have to set up a rig or you know get a whole production Put together i can just pull my iphone and, and grab a quick shot or when i'm hired for stories or or instagram content like this is a good option now to use where it'll still look really really good so let me know in the comments below are you gonna get the komodo are you gonna get an iphone do you already have either what did you think about the whole comparison <laughs> let me know in the comments below i'd love to hear from you as always if you haven't already make sure to like and subscribe it really does help and make a difference and I'll see you on the next video.